Here's my review about Netflix's uh, Resident Evil. And yes, I have seen the entire, all eight episodes. Really? I never wanted to, like, I wanted to give this show a chance, but... This show really, like, they really fucked up. Like, it doesn't even, it doesn't even feel like Resident Evil, like. Albert Wesker. I mean, no disrespect to Lance Reddick, great actor, but even those who aren't, familiar with the games and the Mila Jovovich era Resident Evil movies know that Albert Wesker is a white dude with blonde hair I don't know about the eyes but pretty sure that's basic And he's like one of the most cunning villains in the gaming series. I played some of the game. I can't remember much. I mean, hell, even the Welcome to Raccoon City tried their best. Granted, it wasn't like well received, but At least they tried. Some of the actors actually played the game. The games, the original games. And actually got a little bit of understanding of what Resident Evil is. But this, this was, This felt like, like a teenage drama and the whole woke agenda absurdity. I'm sorry, man. I leave, I usually don't like, like politics and stuff. Like I understand it, it, it could be it's featured in movies, but like, just keep, like, sometimes they keep it to a minimum, and that's fine. But when it's like fully displayed, that's when you know you have angry viewers and fans. The same goes for whatever Marvel's doing now. And DC, they got a mess with Ezra Miller and Amber Heard that they don't want to even bother. But that's a whole other story. But let me get back to Resident Evil Netflix. I, I probably could have come up with a better storyline than what they did here. Granted, I don't have the patience for it, but still. I thought the people would understand the Resident Evil world a little more and say, okay, we're doing a, 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 a show and we're gonna give something that, you know, is adapted based on the games. Nope. Based on the games, or little Easter eggs from the Mila Jovovich movies, but nope. Hold up, sorry. They fucked up big time. It's probably gonna get canceled and I'm, I'm hoping for the better. The 
but overall this this was bad like the liquor monsters that are known the 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 fleshy monsters with the big tongues that are just that's scary that's what is known in resident evil the mutated dogs i'm sorry but that is one of the the characters that's also a character in a storyline and people gave crap to paul anderson with his movies granted they weren't perfect but at least he got an understanding because he also played the games But seriously, I mean, I feel sorry for Lance Reddick, and that's it. Everyone else, um, I can't remember the actors' names. Hold up. I'm about to figure out one of the problems as to why this should have never happened. Ella Balinska. Sorry if I mispronounced the name. But I'm pretty sure she was in the 2019 Char Charlie's Angels. That ring any bells? And then the Paula Nunez. No disrespect. I'm sure she's talented. But seriously... Making, I mean, I understand it's like a female storyline with Jill Valentine and Ada Wong. But dude, making the male characters like weak, defend, uh, weak, stupid, ignorant. What's wrong with you? Wait, I just answered my own question. Y'all pandering to the agendas. I think now they gotta keep Resident Evil in the gaming world now. Like, no more adaptations because this is bad. And I saw the entire series. I give the movies a pass because at least those guys tried. Anyways, that's it. It's yeah. anyone interested in the Netflix series, don't bother. I've watched it. Unless you want to watch it for yourself, go ahead, but <sighs> there's so much stuff that happens that makes me like angry as a viewer like I'm just like yelling f-bombs and stuff and that uh, Jade is always the one causing more ruckus like she got uh, one of the doctors in the ship pre that was two months pregnant killed by a zombie yeah that happens, and they just brush it under the rug like nothing. I remember watching shows or movies like from ages ago. If something like that happens, they would throw your ass into like a shark pit or or a, they would throw you into like a hay for of fire like that's what I understood the storylines or they would have a firing squad for conduct and allowing stuff like that to happen that's it I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about this this show anymore <sighs> 